Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I have a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped artist loft um, canvas that I'm going to be working on tonight. I'm going to do a ring pour and I have some satin enamels in here so it might turn into a cloud pour but these paints are super thick. Um, before I get on to that, I wanted to show you the dried result to painting I did um, a, while, a little while back. And this is um, this is with the Artist Loft and the Maiden paint. And I put the GAC 800 in the Liquitex. And it turned out good. It wasn't overwhelming with cells, but I think I would have liked a few more. So I'm still gonna play with this. Um, it's not over yet. All right, so let's get down to business here. Here are my colors. We have um, Deco Art Metallics in 24 karat gold. We have Arteza Cobalt Blue mixed with Bone Black from Golden. And we have a very simple palette tonight. We have uh, Amsterdam Permanent Violet Red mixed with a little bit of Lucas Krill Studio in Mauve. Um, yeah, in Canada we say mauve, and no, a lot of places say mauve. <laughs> so, in any case, um, I did a, um, a test towel a while back for, I think I just posted the video yesterday. That was the silicone foot cup, and I love the test tile. Um, it's <laughs> better than the actual. So, I'm going with these colors, because I think I added some turquoise and yes there's no turquoise in this one tonight oh my god what am I going to do so if it comes out thicker I might do some swirls if it doesn't I, I might just go with the, the clouds we'll see how it, it runs but I'm really super happy with this one I think I'm gonna frame this put this in a, a little floater frame here we go I need to get a cup fresh cup okay and we've got the handles going tonight too. I just love them. I just can't even tell you guys. I just love, love, love them. They're so convenient. So I do have, um, uh, this is Creative creative Inspirations in Cobalt Blue, with a little bone black in it for my um, flow extender. So we're gonna get started with this. I'm gonna take my sticks out before so that I'm not, uh, fumbling because it's happened before. <laughs> oh, it tipped over. Shoot. It's not a good thing. So I'm going to start with the, I'm going to call it blue black in the bottom. And then we're going to put some of the uh, satin enamels. This is with Artist Loft, the bad boy one. And then I'm going to go with the gold. Just a little. And then I love the gold next to this color. It just, oh, it's so cool. Oh, and there I go, dripping again. That's all right, it's gonna end up there anyways, right? So do I put the gold down first and then the white, or the white then the gold? Let's do the white then the gold. Just so I have something to pour into. That should be real pretty. Hopefully we'll get clouds and pearls. Cloudy pearls. And here we go. I'm gonna pour from the, the clean side tonight. So oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. I like it already.
Ooh, I like it. Ooh, we are getting some. See, it was a good idea to put that gold and, and white down first. That's what's creating those, you know. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. So I'm trying to I never know where to start. Yeah, they're moving slow, it's good. I haven't worked with thick paints for a while. <laughs> well, I did do the, um, that, uh, that glue and water one that was a little off on the thick side. Yeah, I'm gonna go off here. Right straight away. center. See, I love the gold next to the permanent red violet. It's just spectacular. I'm finding tilting with these. Are, it's real easy. With these handles. Just, I'm, I'm sure it's just something that to get used to, that's all. Off you go. Come back. Walking it real slow. Take it 
down this way. Quiet, I know. This might bloom a little bit too because of the satin enamels. So we're not sure what we're gonna end up with, which is always exciting. Oh, I love that purple up there. a good chunk. I don't know what the heck that was. All right. This is busy, but it's it needs something. I might pour a new center and just swirl it around paints are thick enough I can get away with that. I love trying new things. Oh yeah, there's some clouds coming up. I'm going to give it a torch right now, see what happens. This is gorgeous. I love it. And this up here. I love that permanent rip of it. Oh, you guys, I have a premiere coming up on Sunday with Mickey D at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. We are going to be featuring TLP pigments and we're going to be doing the single steps big. We're going big. So hope to see you there. Um, I'll put uh, I'll put everything in the description. I'm loving this over here too. You know, I might pour a new center. I didn't realize I it's dark. And then I'll just swirl it around just a little bit. I've got a teeny tiny cup. I mean teeny tiny. So it doesn't, uh, yeah. So what do I want to start with? <laughs> We're not going to start with the blue, that's for sure. Oh man, this is really turning out pretty. Oh, Sarah Mack, she's so awesome. And Mina of the Lake has just did one recently, and her colors were so awesome. Yeah, I put too much black in the um, in the uh, cobalt blue. I don't mind it. I mean, it's not horrible. But, so, let's do, I'm gonna do the permanent red violet first, and of course the gold, and then the white, going backwards, and then a little bit of blue, and then permanent red violet. I think that's it. I want to wreck that, I can wreck that too. Oh, I'm so glad I found fluid art. 
I could just do this all the time.
magenta coming out of there. Oh, I'm liking it better now. See, sometimes it just takes a little time and patience. Funny, a lot of people think abstract art has to resemble something, and it doesn't. Um, food art is just on a you know leave it its own. This I would I just love. I love that that one spot right there. I love. So um, stretch it out some more. Got some nice pearls happening. So these are getting wonky. So let me bring them back. So when you're cells get wonky like that you just turn it around and go the other way and they straighten up for the most part for the most part they would never turn exactly round but you know I think this is really going to develop into something pretty I'm going to torch it and I'm going to leave it alone <gasps> what you Michelle leave it alone leave it alone yeah I think I am. And if I don't like it in the morning, I'll pour over it. I'm going through all of my canvases right now because I have a ton to varnish. So I'm running across a couple that are damaged because I haven't varnished them. And then I'm running across a couple. I'm like, going, well, maybe I should pour over this. That's what I've been doing. I've been waiting. Jeez, that was a big hunk. Um, I've been waiting <laughs> to see if I want to um, pour over them, you know? Dork. It ain't over till it's over. I put too much black in it. Next time. There's always a next time. It's always tomorrow. Hmm. Now I'm seeing squiggly lines over here. No, not really. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I tell you every time. That's it. That's all. And it never is. Okay. That's it. That's all. <laughs> what it looks like in the morning in a few hours I should say I'm loving this right here I'm gonna let it sit for um, a good 20 30 minutes and I'm gonna come back to it and then I'm gonna give you the close-up because it's gonna change it's not gonna stay like this so one last torch <laughs> busy for my taste but those um those white uh white paint might come up as some um, clouds so or not I'll be back okay guys so I'm back and um I'm gonna wreck the rack I'm wrecking the rack so this part is gonna get wrecked a bit because I don't like it it's just too <clears throat> So, oh, jeez, look what I just did. <laughs> well, I wrecked it all right. So I'm gonna do something a little different. <clears throat> oh, my fountain just went off. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna use the Australian Floetrol and I'm gonna put that on here and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the red and gold on top of that and then swipe through it. So that's the plan. We'll see how that goes. And I've got nothing to lose right now. I I'm worried about the, the red though with the green there. We'll see how it looks out. So here we go. I'm putting the Australian Flow Trial first because that is our cell activator and that always goes on top. <clears throat> I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. Oh, you know, I don't know that I'll need any gold. Well, 
No, you're not going to turn into blue. I don't know what to do. I'm going to do a little gold. And then maybe just a tiny bit. No, because I don't want green. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is definitely a test. I like this though, I don't want to lose that. So I might come over on this side and do the same thing I just did. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and I might even swipe that up too. Yes, oh, that's better. That is better. I might have to do it a little bit further up too. So let's do the same colors again, because I really like it. of techniques. I like it. All right, guys, I'm going to take you down for a um, close-up and I'm hitting the hay. Hey. All right. Just chatting a bit. Hey, guys. I'm not sure if I got you in. I think I do. Well, I'm calling this How to Wreck a Wreck. <laughs> I wrecked a wreck and I liked it. Um, so I'm glad I did this. And actually, yeah, I did off camera. I brought it up a little bit more because I thought the composition wasn't quite right. There is a lot happening in this piece. I'm not quite sure I'm gonna keep it or not. Um, I thought this orientation would be better. I'm really looking at the purple right there. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm not a good wrecker. And I can admit it. I'm starting to really like magenta though. So I'll probably have a few more magentas in my pieces. Those are some wonky cells that came up. And my favorite part is this mirror bikini corner. Yeah. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So, there's a lot of bling bling there with the gold. Don't think it's gonna change much. Sorry, I'm shaking. I've been taking steroids and they make you jittery and it keeps you up all night, which by the way, I might be taking the leftover paints and doing a little, a tiny cloud pour. So look at that magenta right there. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. 
So this is it. This is my wrecked ring pour that got wrecked again. Um, don't forget to tune in on Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time for collaboration with Nikki D. It should be a lot of fun. Talk to you soon. Ciao for now.